Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going? I'm all right. Uh, awkward, awkward opening we have here. Something we need to get off our chest. What? How are you doing? Good. Are you all right? Yes. Gotcha. All's good here, baby. <laughs> well, yeah, you got me. <laughs> I've been that? watching a lot of Sopranos. It's my Paulie Walnuts. Okay. You thought you were going to come here and act all somber in that shirt? Uh, well, yeah, you know, I can't, I can't be sad when I'm wearing, you know. know fucking it's a, it's a move you know you're dressed like what's his name like schrader from fucking I breaking am, bad I am, I am dressed like hank schrader they're rock they're, they're gems i guess you don't remember that part of the show i don't uh I'm, i i can't be sad the summer is starting and it's farting the summer is starting and definitely farting <laughs> the summer is farting all right and burping come on Burping up dogs, uh, baby. What's more acceptable you to you? You ever burp up a hot dog? Yeah. And, and it's I, not that bad. I have to say, I've burped up way worse and swallowed way worse. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. One more. No. One more time. No, 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 no. no run no. it back. No. Say it's, it again, I don't need baby. to run it back. It's right where it is. Right I've, in your throat. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I love... Hot dogs. Same. So, like, when they're like, oh, my God, the, the food is repeating on me, I'm, like, pumped. Who says that? That's, that's a common That's a common saying. The when, food is repeating on me? Yeah. Like, people that have, like, you know, like... Acid reflux? Weak-ass people that have acid reflux. Like, you know, old people. Losers that have fucking heartburn. Old people, pregnant people. Yeah. Oh, my God. Becca, when she was pregnant, had heartburn. She's such a loser. I know. Dude, they make it seem like it's so hard. Oh, my God. I mean, come on. Your body's built for it, right? How difficult can it be? It's not that crazy. This is a joke. I want to make sure I say. <laughs> I want to make sure I say that. I do too many cameos about people saying like their baby's on the way. Joke. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm not. They say like when food repeats on you, it's like you ate it and it, you're burping it and you're tasting it again and again and again. Yeah. Not upset about that with with doggies. Well, yeah, with doggies, little doggies, little doggy babes, puppies, puppies in a blanket, puppies. I can't tell you. There's no bad way to have a dog. Hot dog, no. hot dog bowl, hot dog, big old bread bowl, big old bread bowl. You ever see those things where they put pasta in it and they cook the pasta with the hot dog? I'm yeah. like, this is stupid, but I'd eat it. I, I'll eat it because what's prominent there, what is front and center? What is at the forefront of the food? The dog. Hot diggity. Yeah. And like, I don't hate pasta. Dude, I love pasta. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, it's two things in theory you, you would like. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Go for it. Growing up. Yeah. Were you like me and you would have SpaghettiOs and you would get the ones with the chopped up hot dogs in it? Can I tell <laughs> you? know what I'm talking about? Chopped up, chopped up, hot, dogs. Chopped up hot dogs. Um, I have a confession. I have never, ever in my life had Chef Boyardee or SpaghettiOs ever. What? I've never had it. Oh, I had SpaghettiOs. I've had Chef Boyardee multiple times. Never had it. I probably won't in my current age because I enjoy having a acceptable level of you know cholesterol levels right but if daddy was a fucking little bitch yeah which sometimes you are so be careful yeah me I, too though me too. we all are we all are bitches we're little bitches some sometimes point. but i'll bring it back i'll bring a chef boyardee back should we do like a, a live first time taste test i'll bring you some chef boyardee and bring some, some cans some skettios some okay and well oh, what's the one with the abcs alphabetios that feels like it's not their I name. I don't remember. Alphabet soup? Alphabet soup. Yeah, but that's just canned soup. If you've had chicken noodle soup, you've had alphabet soup. It's oh, just okay. the difference is you could spell fuck. <laughs> you know? Fuck. You could spell fuck in your soup. Yeah, that's cool. I can't believe yeah, it was it was a like when we would go to the lake house, you know, after the my parents decided this ain't working. Yeah, right, yes. <laughs> uh, my dad would get a ton of spaghettios to like as a quick meal. Right. And I remember... Because like, he didn't care to, like, put effort into it. Well... That's why. Yes. Yeah. No but. Just yes. Right. Um, <laughs> it, would, it would be, like, the thing, though. Like, he would open it, and it would... <laughs> and, like, fall out of the fucking... Yeah. Like, suck its penis out of the can. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. Um, do you... Can you just eat that out of the can, or can yeah, you... Yeah, it comes... It just... You want to heat it you up. You want to warm it. You want to warm it up. Not always, though. I like some stuff cold. Like... Pasta? What are you, an old fucking prospector that just opens a can of baked beans and eats it out of the can? Well, not baked beans. I'm I would not do a psychopath. Baked, I, would, I would do baked beans. 
You like baked beans. So oh, my God. Beans have a weird texture. I feel like I'm eating little pieces of soap. You are, and they're delicious for it. If that's what soap was, I'd shove it in me. Barbecue beans. Oh, like fucking Bush's baked beans? Yeah. I'll fucking go to town on those. Yeah, I'd like to spend a night with a guy, Bush. Is it a guy or a... That was just an assumption. Yeah, well, there you go. There's that sexism you're always talking about. Well, that was a long time ago. I figured all <laughs> men created everything at They some did point. at a certain point because women weren't allowed to create To anything. create. Or and then, read. Because or, if they read, they were witches and we burned them. And we... <laughs> that's what happened. I'm just reporting. There was that only those. a couple. There was only a couple. Well, it was a good... It, yeah, but... A good... No, I'm saying they got good and roasted is what I'm saying. They did get a little toasty. Yeah. That's actually... No, what, not a... They got full toasted, yeah, Well, that some people enjoy a full toast. You know, that's where the term s'more comes from? Burning women? Yeah. I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but if it was... <laughs> I fully believe that. But if it was, yeah. we'd be all right with it. What, what was it? <laughs> it's only a matter of time before s'mores get canceled and they give it a new name, like a you know a halfsy or something. Halfsy? I don't know. They, they, they you know, the liberals are always nah, coming dude, up with it. The, the, it's, it's, s'mores are like a bringing together people. They are. You know, because we got brown, we got white, and we got black. You know, there's some stuff missing, but yet you're on the right track. No, that's it. That's that's all we have. Yeah. No, oh, the other people. Yeah, I'm saying there are other. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, 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 as you're using that as a metaphor for races, yeah. there are some other people that are missing from there. Sure, I mean we can't include everything in this. In this. Oh, you can s'more. if you want to just a loaded ass s'more. Well, I mean, I feel like, you know, I just thought of something. Holy shit, do it. I'm going to. Wait, what is it? I'm going to make s'mores this summer. But you're going to make it more inclusive. What well, are you maybe. Add? What are you going to add? I'm not going to. I'm. I'm not. All right. Listen. I'm not, uh, my inclusivity stops at s'mores. All right. Got it. Got it. Don't touch my s'mores. Okay. Just tell me. Instead of Hershey's bars, I'm going to use Twix. How you plan on doing that? Instead of the chocolate bar. Yeah, but just you... melty a little Twix. Melty? You melt. Get a melty. Oh, oh. And then you sandwich it. But you have, but they're they're thick, baby. You could melt. The top is the caramel, right. and you could squish it. Yeah, but you can't squish that cookie. So, so then you could squish. It's it's a it's a very spongy sandwich. No, it's not. Yes, it is because it's of the a, marshmallow. It's because of the marshmallow. Where is there marshmallow in Twix? In s'mores, I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then you got the cookie. You can't have two crunch. Why? Why not? More crunch. You I'm would, a crunchy you would, guy. You would break the Twix in half. I of course, like yeah. I can't have it too long. I don't like when things are popping out the back or the front. I hate that. I don't like That's it. That's why I don't like s'mores sometimes because it's like, bro, let's put a pocket in this thing. I like I like keeping my burger nice and compact. You know what Me I mean? Too. Like when things slide out the backs and sides, That's I'm like, get back in there. Get back into your fucking food prison. That's what I'm saying. I don't like when I bite into a burger and then the tomato's like, no. Yeah. Like, get the <laughs> fuck in it. <laughs> when the tomatoes are like, no, 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 not yet. Yeah, not yet. Like, get in it. You I want to like, shove its ass back in. I want everything fucking just going right in me. I, sometimes I eat burgers and I don't even know what the fuck happened because I'm biting it. And then I look at the bread. I'm like, I don't have a lot of bread. And yes. there's so much more burger. Because left. like it's it, the bread like falls forward and then like start poking out the back. Yeah. So you have just like a fat ass of a burger. Exactly. Just like fucking just dumping it out back there. And then the bread is like almost gone. But it's like an optical illusion. I feel like I feel like I've eaten this whole thing, but there's still the whole ass of this burger. Yes. Out. I don't like that either. But let's be clear. Still eat it. We'll still eat it. Of course. And I'll still eat that. It raw hits patty. the plate and then I get a fork and I start slopping it Oh, you it fork up. it up? Uh, yeah. Oh, good for you. I'm not forking that bad boy. I'll fork it. I'll finger it all the way. Finger it. Finger, I'm fingering that burger all the way down my throat. Okay. I know what I said, yeah. and I'm going to stick with what I said. Stick it. <laughs> stick it right down your throat, Frank. How are you doing? I was doing good. You were... Joey had a little poop-poop problem. Oh, yeah. Joey, I wanted to talk about Joey this. Had a, Joey, Joey, the man that swears he doesn't have IBS, okay. had a poop-poop problem. It was an IBS. And it affected your real life. <laughs> Not like a joking life, you know, like last, like for instance, and it's funny, after you told me you had a poop-poop problem, we, we, uh, Let's I- Let's talk like adults. Okay. Let's try that. <laughs> okay. I was like, oh yeah, last time we recorded, the second we stopped, you ran out of here to go to the bathroom. To pee? Out of your butt. No. Yeah, you said you had to schist. Did I? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, you were- Yeah, but I wasn't, I wasn't- why not? It was it was it was it was well, maybe 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 it was the tax from the day before. Oh, so maybe it was that. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You had you had a week long, fluffing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. 
fuck is this word? Um, but yeah, a lot of people. Uh, Danny just got married in Spain mm-hmm. uh, last week, uh, over the weekend, I should say. Over the weekend, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Chris Farley sketch him. But Danny got married. Danny got married over the weekend. Uh, it was a lovely wedding in Spain. And what Joey's trying to say is he was unable to go, and the real reason is because he hates Danny's guts. Right. He hates him so much. The so, fallout is still real. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, a lot of people were hitting Danny up, and he was telling me that they were like, "Why didn't you invite Joe to your wedding?" I was invited, and I was in the airport ready to go, and I'm sitting in a lounge. Well, also just to preface this entire thing, I thought that I had food poisoning. Like two or three days prior to that. I'm just going to let you continue to talk. And I was, I got coffee at a coffee shop, like down the block from my apartment, drank it. And I was like, whoa, I have to go to the bathroom it, right now. And then I <laughs> got home and then like the world <laughs> fell out of me. The wor- Yeah. Meaning Niagara Falls. It was just. Let me be very clear about something. Water, Frank. Yeah. Okay. I Water. Pick, I picked up on the diarrhea of the of the story. Oh yeah. You don't need to elaborate on it. There wasn't a chunk in sight, Frank. Uh, Joey, please stop. So then, after I was finished there, I sat on the couch and I went, "I have to go again now." And then it happened. I was like, "Now there's something going on." Yeah, and that happened for two days. For what you explained. Yeah, to me. it was like two days that that happened, and I was texting Danny, being like, "Bro, I had like food poisoning. That shit was fucking horrible. Like, blah blah blah." And, uh, but I was good. Like I was like starting to get back to it. Uh, I started to feel good. And then the day before my flight, I like ate something and I was still having diarrhea and I was like, oh, whatever. But I'm like, I still, I feel okay. Mm-hmm. Like, cause I felt horrible. I was like, yeah, but I, I felt okay. So I was just eating like oatmeal and like brown rice and just like, like toast. Th- yeah. You're like yeah. filling the, the brat. Like- I think, I think it's what, what's called the brat diet. Yes. Uh, so <clears throat> then the day of the flight, uh, I'm in JFK and I'm standing online to go through security. And I like have this bout of like, was I about to pass out just now? But then I was like, okay, I'm fine. And then I stopped at a, a wine bar because I was like, I, by the way, three in the morning. Wrong. Joey drinks early. Sorry, you're right. 10 in the morning. No, this was, uh, this was like n- at 8.30. In the morning. At night. <laughs> Uh, it was like 8.30 at night, and I was like, I definitely want to sleep on this, and wine makes me sleepy. You are a little tired boy. I am. Uh, so I had a glass of wine, fat glass. The Big lady old. was like, you want, a, you want a small or a large? And I was like, yeah. bitch. What, you go, bitch. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Red? It was red. Let's go. Yeah. Um, and it was a Merlot. Cabernet. It was a Merlot. Was or a Malbec. It was a Malbec. All right. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I had that, and I was like, hmm, a little rumbly. So then I'm sitting in a uh, a lounge with Greg, and I'm and I start getting like cold sweats, and I'm like, oh god, what's going on? And then I like you felt you felt it on. Yeah, and I was like, I had to go to the bathroom. So I go to the bathroom, and like again, just like straight water. I'm like, fuck, dude, like uh, this isn't a way. And then I come back, and I'm sitting back at the table with him, and I'm and then I, my mouth just starts going dry as fuck oh really you go dry mouth when you have to like usually not usually i get like because i the, what i remember is like the times i felt i've had to throw up you know like when i'm like drinking too much and stuff like that i get saliva mm-hmm. it's like super like it's like oh it's coming yeah but you i know? think that I, at that point i was like really anxious because i was like fuck now i'm, I'm like whatever and i'm just thinking about the fact that like i have all this, these airbnbs we booked a lot of like dinners um in Barcelona, in Mallorca. Uh, so I was just like, fuck, like all this stuff. And then I was like, oh shit, I think I'm going to throw up. So I go to the bathroom and I'm just standing there like this, looking at myself in the mirror. And I'm like, yep. And you threw it. I threw it oh. three times in the airport um, and then came back. Well, I, th- I threw up once, one good one. And then I came back to the table and I was like, oh dude, I just like threw up. Like I'm freaking out now like that I'm like sick, sick. Uh, and then he's like, for real? And then we still had like an hour because our flight got delayed. So you were, we were trying to wait like, it out. Yeah. I was just like sitting there until the last second. And then I went back to the bathroom and I threw up two more times and then I'm sitting at the table and I'm like, now I'm starting to get dizzy and I'm like all this other shit. And I was like, dude, I can't get on this fucking plane because I'm thinking about it's, it's like eight hours to get to uh, Barcelona and then being there for two days and then getting on another plane to Mallorca, uh, and being there for whatever the fuck and then taking the plane back to JFK. And I'm like, dude, I like, I'm going to fucking be throwing up and shitting my pants all over this plane. 
and then have to be trying to be in nurse Spain. myself to health yeah. before the fucking wedding. And I just like couldn't. And I was sick. The the day that I started to feel okay was the afternoon of the day before the actual wedding. Like Friday. It, huh? Friday. Because I think they got Technically, gotta... it, was, it was nighttime. So in Spain, it oh would be. Oh, my God. Here we go. It, it was like 1130 at night. Which is when they eat dinner, actually. No. That's when they start. It's 1130 at night in Spain of the night before the wedding. And that's when I started to like feel better. But that whole week was just like hell. And I think I had like fucking salmonella or All right. Well, I just want to cut you off there because, yeah, that sucks. I mean, the, your IBS kicked in again. Maybe if you spoke positively about your IBS, it wouldn't have ruined your trip. Hey, bud, it was a, it was a for sure bacterial virus. Well, I just need to say it sucks, and I'm sorry that that happened. But, like, I'm more upset than you are because I my plan was you were going to come back from Spain, and I was going to be able to make fun of you so hard. For, for being just like Mr. España. Like in, in you thought Espana. I was going to come back with an accent? I thought... <clears throat> I th oh, thought, actually, that you had, that's how you say it. Yes. <laughs> I thought you were going to come back. Like when you went to Greece and you came back and you were like smoking, like ripping cigs. Never smoked a cigarette in my life. You were ripping cigs and all you kept talking about was the gyros. <laughs> and then you said you were I like... I think I had one gyro you out said, there. Like, and you said to me, you were like, oh, Mykonos life. That's what you said to me when you got I back from Greece. And I knew when you were going to come back from Spain, yeah. you were going to be fucking, you know, Mr. Tapas. And, like, you were going to be only talking about, like, oh, my God, Mallorca, the, the, the flamenco dancers. I knew that's what the you were going to do. flamenco dancers. So the real loser here is me. Right. Because I have lost out on some, let's be honest, prime probably. content making fun of you. Yeah, probably. Be because... Thing, you came back from Greece a changed man. There was a no shot you were not going to come back a changed man from Spain. I did wear more linen when I got back. A, a lot more linen, Joey. <laughs> I wouldn't say a lot. You had towel shirts. That was one shirt. How many? One. You sure? Two. Try three. No three. You had three. There's a white one, a yellow one, and an off-white one. No, there's a blue one. Oh, and a yellow one and a white one. See, he knows he remembers his towel shirts. I got them. There's I don't remember a white one. You don't need to. They're there. <laughs> so I'm sorry. That sucks. But, like, I'm the real victim here, Joey. Because, oh. Make it about you. You know what it was? Your fucking inside, your racist-ass fucking gut was just like, I can't go and be amongst, you know, seasonings and paprika. What? Your body knew. That you were going to go and have to eat something that has something other than fucking ketchup, salt, and pepper on it. You see, you flip-flop back and forth with this shit. Because on one hand, he goes, y'all, you go out to a restaurant and eat fucking frog legs dipped in, you know, no? whatever the fuck. No, I know you're not eating frog legs, Joey. Why would I not eat frog legs? Because you, the last time you went, where, where did we go? For your birthday dinner, a steakhouse. Joey, it's a fucking really nice steakhouse. Don't you dare, because you did this before already on a thing and you made it up. Joey looks, he looks, he goes to the waiter. He goes, this never happened. Tell me about your, your chicken tenders. <laughs> I couldn't fucking believe it. And then, and then he got a, a fucking beautiful steak that was prepared, cooked medium rare. This thing is fucking succulent, juicy, bleeding, sucking. And then, <laughs> and, bleeding, sucking and then Joey goes, excuse me, waiter, garçon. Mm. That's what you said. I didn't. You did. And you said, can I get some honey mustard or ketchup with this steak? And I fucking couldn't oh, believe honey it, Joey. Mustard. I couldn't believe it. You're making that up. I'm not making anything up. That was a fat, juicy one, though, also that, at that, that place. There were two fat, juicy boys. There was. But there was something else that was really good. Oh, remember the, the chicken the, was mad sexual? The chicken was, like, given to us, like, doggy style. Well, I don't even know if it was a chicken. It was a chicken, but it was, like, fucking filleted and open. But, like, it was on a, a skewer, and it looked like it was on a pole like this. It, its pussy was out. It, it, yo, <laughs> full had fat thighs. and Put it like this. I've been to clubs, and there were more... Less sexualized people at these clubs than that chicken. Yeah, that chicken was fucking that sexy chicken. as fuck. And it was like in like missionary. You know, yeah. like it was like face down ass up. Yeah. Well, and like that's not missionary. I know. So. You know, I know, but it was just in it was put in very sexual positions. And then you, you said you you asked the people, you're like, Can you cut bread and fry these for me? Cut bread. That's what you asked. Cut Bread the the chicken. Oh, you wanted chicken tenders at a steakhouse. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Guess well, what? you made that up. Guess what, Joey? No, no chicken tenders in Spain. Yeah, probably so not. That's why your body fought you. 
Yeah, because it's like you're about to eat good stuff. Yeah. When you heard that there was going to be some form of fucking, you know, yeah. like a, a flair thrown into your life, mm. you racist pig. You Yeah. Uh, what's flair? What's fa- <laughs> pig? <laughs> racist pig. Pig is making a comeback. Frankie thinks he's like the man because he ate a date. He's like, oh, well, I have a lot of flair in my life. Oh, oh we have fresh fruit. Oh, the basil? It's from the garden. <laughs> yeah, tell me about your garden. I live in an apartment. Exactly. Fucking venture out sometime. See grass. Go look at the world, Joey. I- what the fuck are you talking about, you dumb bitch? You know, you, you sit there. When was the last time you ate something that your own hands made? You fucking pig. <laughs> Back on pig. <laughs> Pig is good. <clears throat> it's a it's a good one. Alec Baldwin you and now pig. Alec Baldwin and now us. Hmm? Alec Baldwin. You remember he called his daughter a worthless pig. <laughs> <laughs> a phone call. <laughs> Bro, do you know how you're a st- worthless pig? If what I had- Trump call he, Trump call Rosie O'Donnell a pig. Probably he called her many things. Yeah, or a beast or something. A nice. beast. Beast is good. That's a good one. Be- you're a, just a beast. yeah. You're a beast of a man. <laughs> he called her a pig though. Oh man, you know how pumped I would be. Or a dog. I'm sure one of those. One of those derogatory terms for a woman of not small stature. <gasps> That's what she is. Okay. Uh, you know how pumped I would be if I got a voicemail from my dog and he called me a worthless pig. My dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be psyched if I got a voicemail from my dog. I meant my dad. Yeah. If you called me a worthless pig. Yeah. That would be hysterical. Oh, I, so I should actually play this. Uh Oh, you got a pig voicemail from your dad? No, I got a voicemail from my dad because he found out that I had food poisoning and I couldn't go to Spain. Did I send it to you? You, you, your dad has like you a weird obsession about fluids and butts. You just say things. Tell me this, Joey. Your 30th birthday, what was the message your dad sent you? The email where he was just like, it anytime, was you, anytime you fought, you got to worry about fucking leaking. Yeah, he so who's that. wrong here, stupid idiot? Yeah, okay, so this is the... I actually don't know if he says anything bad. He probably does. We'll just... We'll edit it out. Well, all right, wait, wait, wait. All right, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Go back right. to what? So what do you want to talk about? Play it. Well, I'm trying to and edit then, it. And then we can edit no, no, it no. if we need to. So my dad found out that... Uh, is there like visual voicemail? Can you read what he says just in case? We'll find out. <laughs> but I don't think it's bad. Cancel Joey's dad. Here we go. Dude, what's up, man? I'm just going to see how you're doing. Yeah, you know, that food poisoning thing can linger for a while, but yeah. uh, you probably got it from some spoiled Puerto Rican ass. Oh, there it is. <laughs> be watching out where you put your face down there in Puerto Rico. <laughs> Didn't disappoint. <laughs> I told you. He didn't disappoint. That's the voicemail he left me. Yeah, that's the... Well, hey, concerned dad wants to make sure you're not putting your face at anything that might be... Give you food poisoning? Spoiled, I Can guess. Can butts do that? Get spoiled? No, well, give you food poisoning. I guess if someone yeah, has... Yeah, dude. If someone has food poisoning or like some Forget. gastrointestinal virus and they, they do chips. Well, I didn't just also ingesting any type of... Dung. Yeah, there was no dung that you were ingesting yeah, in Puerto like, Rico. Yeah, no, there wasn't. Uh, Just a lot of rum. A lot of rum. A lot of those rum. fucking pina coladas, man. God damn, I can't stop thinking about those pina and coladas. And I can't... What's the name of the other fucking drink there that was, I love? There was... Holy shit! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Yo, you're the most jumpy fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Did you see why? No. You didn't see what happened? No. What oh, do? my God. What Jesus do do? Christ. He just fucking popped his head up real oh, quick okay. like a fucking rat. My, my fucking... <laughs> like a rat. My fucking microphone went everywhere just now. I kicked <laughs> everything. It kicked the shit. <laughs> it was... <clears throat> the first one was the rum uh, uh, old-fashioned. The second one was called the Encanto. Encanto. Yes. It was kiwi syrup, even Encanto though Joey does, says he doesn't like kiwis. Cocktail. These don't look like this shit at all. In, uh, say, type in Encanto Puerto Rican cocktail. This shit is purple. Encanto. And then the third one was the piña. Yeah, the piña colada was very good. That was fun. But this, fu- this shit was fucking stupid. And I just bought some like... I oh, bought you, them. you bought, you bought yeah. it? Yeah, you're going to have to practice because Joey made me pop his shaker when we were down there. <laughs> that was fucking insane. Twice. Yeah, but you admit what the fuck was going on there. No, I did it pretty quickly, pretty easily. Not for mine, I mean. We were slapping no, the sec- that thing. Yeah, the second one, the second the second time, it was uh, we had to slap that, slap that bad boy a couple times. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we had to slap that, slap that bad, bad, bad boy. Um, yeah, I can't find it, but we'll, we'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, we'll look up. 
Yeah, but anyway, uh, that was cool. But yeah, that's my dad. I'm glad. I'm glad you're feeling better. I'm sorry you didn't get to go to Spain. Yeah. Like I'm, I said, I'm the one that is lost here. Uh, but <laughs> here we are, back at it. The Basement Boys, back at it, living large. Say back at it again. Back at it. There you go. I'll look back at it while I say back at it. Don't say that. You don't want it. <laughs> what for you to look back at it? Yeah. Why is that such a thing? Look, look back at it. Yeah, well, I don't look know. Look at me. Who was the look back at it, look back at, at it, make that pussy pop like a jackrabbit? Who is that? Make the pussy pop like a jackrabbit? Yeah. There is was a jackrabbit an actual animal? I think there, yeah. I thought it was just a rabbit. I No, there's bigger ones that are called jackrabbits. Aren't those hairs? Look back at it, look back at it. Like look back at it like a jackrabbit. Make, no, make that make that dumb jeans pop like a jackrabbit. Oh, was it? Now bounce that thing like a jackrabbit. Yes, who is that? Uh, Kia? Whom? K-H-I-A. Who's that? Who's that? Like the Telluride? Like the who? A car? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is an H in there? I think yeah, that's who it is. Weird. Wow, there's a lot of crazy lyrics in this thing. What song? I, why am I unable to remember this song? Y'all hoes better know that game. Don't fuck with squares. Don't fuck with lames. You what know, song, Joey? Look back at it, you dumbass. You just fucking sang oh, it. I, why do I know that song? It says, "You know my ass look tight. You want to fuck tonight." Oh well, hold on. Wait a sec. <laughs> Make a man want to spend his cash. Man isn't the word. Make a man. What? What's the word, Joey? Want to come real fast? Ah, there. It ladies, is. where you look at when you where you what? ladies where you at? Look back at this bitch right here. This bitch off class. Oh no, don't stop. Dirty down. Got this bitch on lock. It didn't even rhyme. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> well, I remember a boy saying it, not a girl. Maybe it's a boy. Kia. Huh. You never know. Mm -mm. Anyway, do you have sponsors for? <laughs> Do you have sponsors for today? The first one being Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix is uh, the easiest way to get clothes that fit you without having to endlessly scroll with all these options, okay? So you go on to their website, you take a style quiz, is what they call it, and uh, by the end of that quiz, they'll know your sizes and what kind of fit you like, what kind of patterns, and what kind of clothes you wear, and then they can start pulling from uh, over a thousand brands that you know and love and put together a nice package for you of like, here, how about this stuff? Um, so it's great. It's like having your own personal stylist. They have sizes that range from extra small to 3XL, so it's inclusive for everybody. And, uh, yeah, you can uh, get these outfits. And it's a cool way to kind of – that's kind of how I like to shop. I like when I'm on sites and you like, you're like, oh, this is a cool pair of pants. And you click on those pants, and then there's a model wearing the pants in an outfit, and you're like, that outfit looks cool. And then underneath that, it's like you can get all this stuff here. That's essentially what – uh, Stitch Fix is doing, um, but right now Stitch Fix is offering uh, our listeners twenty dollars off of their first fix at stitchfix.com slash basement. That is stitchfix.com slash basement for twenty dollars off today. Um, so go check them out, all right? Go save twenty dollars off of your first fix. Go get some cool outfits. Stitchfix.com slash basement. Um, and we also have Squarespace. Squarespace is what I use to build websites. Any website that I've ever built, I've used with Squarespace. Actually, that's not true. I've used a different platform years ago and it was insanely difficult and hard and time consuming. It literally took me like two and a half months. With Squarespace, they have like templates that make it very easy. You just switch out certain fonts and uh, you know whatever message you want to put on there. Uh, but it keeps the site looking amazing and they make it a, a, like you have a lot to choose from also. It's great. So if, I, if anyone is, has a small business or you want to kind of promote yourself if you're a creator or whatever the case may be, uh, you can use Squarespace to do that, and it is great. Uh, and you can head to squarespace.com slash basement uh, for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Again, that is squarespace.com slash basement for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code basement to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Okay? So there you have it, folks. Um, is anyway. That, is that it? For now. <coughs> you okay there, Pops? I'm 
was going to say, oh, and my throat cleared <laughs> at the exact same time. Well, I am going to talk to you guys about something, and I don't know if you know about this, but come on. Come on a little closer. Come on right here. Well, no, don't. <laughs> wait, Where? Wait, wait, wait. Where? Where are you pointing? <laughs> wait a second. I was going to tell you about the Patreon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. <laughs> Guys, we tell you about this all the time. We tell you about the Patreon because it's the best way to not only support us, but get more of us, really. So patreon.com slash the basement yard. You sign up for that first tier. Well, then you get the, these weekly episodes that you see right here. Bing, bang, boom. One week in advance. And then that second tier. Well, that's where you get Fridays, 7 a.m. You, well, 7 a.m. Eastern, I should say. You, us, more of us. Exclusive episodes. All right, so go check it out. Now, look, I know I shouldn't mope. I know I shouldn't curse. But the pain, oh, it feels so much worse. Because wind it up with no one. <laughs> it's a lot less fun than a burn from the sun or not being a member of the Patreon. There you go. Patreon.com slash the basement yard, baby. The fuck was that? Don't worry about it, bitch. How about you fucking get your game up? Sorry, I'm a little hungry. <laughs> get your game up. <laughs> I'm a little hungry. Yeah? Yeah. I'm starvation army. Starvation army. Well, <laughs> you haven't eaten solids or pooped solids in about two weeks. Wrong. So. I'm back to fucking... You're eating those solids. Yeah. Shh, you're just back at it. I took my mom to dinner last night. Is your body ready for fucking hot dogs, baby. I don't know about that. Uh, yeah. Well, well technically, don't... we're never ready for that. <laughs> I'm ready to push the limits on my body, though. <laughs> I'm going to shove a hot dog in here. Here. Where? My mouth. Yeah. <laughs> My mouth. Yo, you gonna shove that bad boy in your mouth. I am. I'm not scared. You might have to be. That was You know what I don't like? I don't like when hot dogs are in like not hot dog buns. When people put them in like real like sandwich buns. You know what I hate? I don't like that shit. Give you me a hot dog sandwich bun. buns. Like you know when you like you go get like a fucking sub or a hero and like it's an like Italian bread? Yeah. People put hot dogs on that? Bro, yes. I had a foot long hot dog, don't ask why, because I wanted it. And it was in like a fucking like legit hoagie roll. <laughs> Semolino bread? It, yeah. Semolino. It was in like a legit like loaf of Italian bread. That's and insane. Don't, let's not be mistaken. Oh my god, was there stuff in it though? Yeah, of course. Chili oh. and cheese. Uh it was still good, but it was the bread like fucked it up. You know what I would do? If you put a foot long in there, and then you put, like, sausage and peppers in there, too. Oh. I would just drive straight to the hospital. <laughs> but, like, it sounds yeah. good. I've been working really hard. I've lost some weight. You know, my diet's been pretty good. <laughs> it's down. See ya. It's, it's about to go down. I need to get this blood test today, so by the time, what, nothing from this weekend is going to register. Yeah, dude. It's going to suck. It's okay. It's all right. You just got to go on, you know, a little, little quick diet afterwards. You're fine. A little quick diet, and then maybe I'll end up looking like Martha Stewart. Yeah, Martha Stewart looks great. She was dumping them out on what's the what was the magazine? Well, I don't know if dumping them out is the right term I here, mean, Joey. They, she it was, definitely dumped them. She was on the cover of the Sports Illustrated swimsuit magazine at the age of eighty one. Uh which I'll tell you this right now, at eighty one, I'm gonna look like a no, ham. Bro, you know I you know what I'm gonna look like at eighty one? Not that. Dead. <laughs> I'm going to look like an urn of ashes. That's what I'm gonna look like. An urn. I, I Oh, why did I think she dumped him out? No, there's no dumping. That's what I explained. I thought, but didn't she dump? There's no dumps. I think she did dump. She was Joey, like topless. There, where have you seen Martha Stewart topless? You're going to make me type this into Google? Oh, she did dump him, you idiot. What? Yeah, well, she was. She didn't. I mean, she was wearing an apron, but she was. They were dumped. No, they're not dumped if they're if nips are covered. That's fair. Nips nips are the entirety. The dumping relies on the nips. Mm. We've talked about. Or this. Or if you do a hand bra, technically that's dumping them out. To no, me. if you can't see areola, they're not dumped out. Areola. Yes. So what if just nipples? But there is areola. Is that? If if I'm full chested right here, and I just go like this, full chest, and I cover nips. You, we've we've spoken about this. It's not. You said full, areola. All right, nip, full nip. I, I don't. You know, I don't know, Joey. You know, I don't know the typography and the geography of a nipple. The the outer ring. Yeah. Is the, the outer rim. No. Where yeah. like you know like certain Just planets. Picture are. Saturn, right? Yeah. The rings. I don't know why I'm closing my eyes. I can picture Saturn without my eyes closed. Yeah, it's very easy. <laughs> uh, the rings. That's the areola. The actual planet is the nipple. So, like, the rings are, like, you know, the exegol, and then the closer you get in, you get toward, you know, like, uh, you know, a uh, uh, forest moon of Endor, or, or you Are you know. throwing Power Ranger shit at me right No, now? this is Star Wars, bitch. Got it. Okay. Anyway, Martha Stewart, hot. I have to say something. Hot woman, Frank. A good-looking woman. However, 
this is kind of playing I'll... into the whole like is this the right message that should be sent about aging at the age of 81 because what people the fuck does that mean for instance Martha Stewart to each their own all about it support however yeah you think that's just from fucking eating broccoli and like running I think that she's clearly like taking care of herself. She's taking care of herself. However, she's also fighting the who fucking. Who gives a shit? No, I. Hey, listen, man. I I am in full support. People can do what they want with their Dude, body, I don't but know. at the same time, that is. So what would make you feel kind better? of contributing to the patriarchal idea of a manufactured style and version of beauty? I get that. It is. But what's the what's the what's the? But yeah, come on. Let's not be fucking naive here. If people are on the internet or whatever, we're all doing this shit anyway. Yeah, we're yeah. like, oh no, we have this hot older woman on the cover of Sports Illustrated, and we're gonna pretend like, oh, but she's airbrushed and she's got this and she's got clips hey, in the back of her neck that are holding her face skin back or whatever the fuck. That stuff like that how exists. How do you know about? How you know stuff about like that? that? Let me ask you. I how saw you know a TikTok. It? You saw, I saw a TikTok. Oh well, then it must be real if it's on TikTok, Joey. No, I, no, I, I've seen many a TikTok. Okay, so this. two TikToks. It's not. It's not fucking. What's Move on called? from TikTok. Sorry. Uh, but what, what's the alternative? We put your grandma on the cover of Sports Illustrated? We can't. Guess why? I know why. <laughs> you know why? Big let's say dead, it, dead. Let's, there it is. I was going to say, let's say it together. Three, yeah. two, one, obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, a distant memory. Yes. yes yeah. That's why. The Bro, cover would be just empty. It would be just text. I can't tell you how hard I laugh. When we were in Puerto Rico, we were at like a large dinner, and we kept bringing up our parents being divorced and our grandparents being dead. People did not like that. They did not. And at one point— That made it better, though. <laughs> it made it so much better. We, we looked at each other, and we went, former grandchild right here. <laughs> <laughs> no grandparents. Not None, one. Not a single one not left. Not a single one. And they went—they didn't even go out in style. They just went. Right. Um, but back to yes, you're right. Yaya would not have been on the fucking cover of Sports Illustrated. No. But at the same time, let's not lose sight of the fact that this woman is in extraordinary financial circumstances, yeah. and this is not what the layman person looks like or should want to look like. Who's thinking that? I think that there is a stress and pressure placed on women in of society. Of course, there is. Which. Stuff like that, which is then glorified and talked about everywhere. And I'm like, oh my God, Martha Stewart. And then when there are women that are aging, you know, however naturally they will age, they don't have the opportunity to look like that because they don't have the resources, time, or ability to. I don't, I like, I don't know. I feel like I get the societal pressure thing, but like the cover of Sports Illustrated. Yeah, they're not the most like progressive. Oh, well, that's not true. Wasn't wasn't Caitlyn Jenner on the cover there? I don't know. And it was like know. Woman of the Year. Do you think Sports Illustrated has a Woman of the Year? I don't know. What no. was, she was on one that was like Woman of the. She got Woman of the I Year. Think it was like her time. First, her first year being a woman. <laughs> yeah, dude, one for one. <laughs> Crushed it. It came out the gate hot, bro. She came out. <laughs> just fucking. Uh, Bruce gave Caitlyn her fucking. Bang! <laughs> so it's like winning the Super Bowl in your rookie year, <laughs> bro. Bruce gave Caitlyn his track and field fucking skills. He just fucking. <laughs> She took out from the gate. It's over. Uh, um, I think I think Chappelle did a bit about that. <laughs> yeah, first, was like, first ah, yeah, damn, out. like, wait, you know, um, one for one though. No, um, but I, anyway, I, I, it's a, it's a, it's a multi-layered. It's a conversation that isn't of an onion. To me, I get that too, and I like I understand it. But at the same time, it's like, I think the the like changing the cover of fucking a magazine, which. I don't think they should change it. I think they sh I think she should be celebrated for the, for how she looks. I I support it. But let's not be mistaken here when people say like, you know, like, "Oh my god, we're so progressive. Like things like this don't happen anymore." Eh, it's still happening in front of your face, babies. I don't know, bro. People are models because they're exceptional looking. I completely so understand. like whatever, bro. But the but the standard of looking exceptional has been created by men Game like men. you. No, I think gay men. You, Joey. Gay men. No, it's all straight men. Who you? you no one's mad at gay men except for straight at, men. I'm not. <laughs> I'm saying like in the modeling world, isn't it like, bro? It's all marketing advertisers and stuff like that. Eh, whatever. It's all. It's a. It's a fucking vicious circle. Do you? Who? Can circle. I ask you a serious question? Yeah. At the rate at which we're currently going. Who's going to look better at 81, you or me? And why is it you? It's not me. Yeah. You don't think so? No, I think that, I think that, here's the thing. 
I don't think that whites really age really well. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, I'm, this is not me having some sort of white guilt. But just, you're right, you're right. just look at like an no, old white person. No, this is not white guilt. This is like, just, just look at an old white person. You're just kind of like... Give me an old white person. Harrison Ford. Not aged well. Still a good looking guy. No, but he's got... He's, he's you know... Oh, I'm not talking about like famous people. I'm talking about like the general, like the average... Your dad. Old... Lo- <laughs> Let's look at your dad. No, but like... I don't know. Also, when 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 the advantage you have, like people look better tanned. I I agree. I people look better tanned. I thought I thought we were going the route of like you're <laughs> just like you have, like you take care of your body a little more consistently oh, but than that's, I do. But Frank, that's not lasting. Oh no, it's not. Your knees. The are day sh- I turn forty, I'm not even going to even think about working anything. out. Working out anything that Whoa. goes into my body. Oh, okay. I might start eating cigarettes. You should honestly. Like, whatever. That might be the cure for all these illnesses. Your IBS. It could plug it up with a couple fucking you know darts. tobacco sticks. A couple a couple <laughs> darts. darts. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually an article my sister sent me today. There's a woman who was like 110 years old. I hate these people that. I love these. I would no. do this. I would do this. I hate. I fucking hate. Everyone who turns 100 years old, because they always have some fucking snarky, it. fucking bullshit, it. like, secret. And this woman said, ice cream. Fuck you. We really want to know the answer to this, you old no, bag. but fuck you. The moment I turn 100, which ain't happening. <laughs> we know that. A fucking, uh, you know, uh, President Northwest at that point in time is going to send me a letter. Right. And says, like, you remind me of my dad, and I'm going to kill myself. There you go. I will be one of those people where they're like, what's this? <laughs> Mr. Alvarez, 100 years young. <laughs> you don't look a day over 80. What is the secret? Also not a compliment. 80 yeah, fucking old. Yeah, 80 sucks. Any 80-year-old 80, 80 listeners 80 year old, out there? <laughs> Sorry for all the 80. Hey, 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 you 80-year-old <laughs> listeners. <laughs> Definitely have no one was 80. No, and if they are, what happened to your life? I'm mean, having a good time. <laughs> they're smoking cigarettes, eating ice cream. Apparently. Are they? Okay. I'm trying to stay young. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something like that. I'm gonna just come up with something ridiculous because then people are gonna make spend time actually researching it. Yeah. I remember there was like a woman who was just like the secret of my success is like cigarettes and Dr Pepper. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's. What, I thought it was like. Cigarettes I'm gonna be and like. Wine. I'm gonna be like, tea, olive oil, and fucking Racism. fresh <laughs> fresh duck farts. Look it up. You know, just like I'm gonna just come up with something ridiculous where the, they'll be like, what's uh. the science behind duck farts? Okay, they'd be they get. I'd prank them. She's like, I've been fisting my own ass for the last 10 years. Yeah. And it's extended my life. Anal stimulation. Anal stimulation. Yeah. Has extended my life. I love, because there's so much more that has happened in that person's life. You know, it's the idea of like inductive and deductive reasoning where like they'll look at something and, you know, like I think I read something once and it was like an insane amount of serial killers say that their favorite book is Catcher in the Rye. So people have looked at Catcher in the Rye like, what about, is Holden Caulfield a martyr? What's it, da da And it's like, yeah, they also have all had fucking, they've all worn shoes, but no one's saying that shoes cause, you know, serial killers to lose their mind. So like Catcher in the Rye? Worst book in the world. Well, I had to read that like my sophomore year of high school. Didn't somehow pass the test though. I can bullshit my way through it like a lot. Did I ever tell you what happened to me when we were reading Catcher in the Rye? I think it was like Catcher in the Rye or one of those dumbass books like Great of Expectations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't do the homework. I didn't do the readings. No. I would in the mornings ask my friends, let me see your answers, let me copy them. I'll juice them up a little bit. Ba ba ba. And I remember this is kind of your fault because it was your lady that did this. She was involved, Jamie. Damn. I had asked her, yeah, you're guilty by association. What year was this? 2004, no, I mean, like grade, you fucking... To seventh or eighth grade. Oh, we were, we were apart you had d- You had, but you, there was a longing. There was, of course. There was you, how yearning. many times did you stare at the window when it was raining and think about her? <sighs> Every time it rained. Yeah. So I had, I'd be like, let me just cut. And, she, and clearly she was fed up. So she's like, I'll just tell you the answer. So I was like, all right, question one. And she gave me the answers. I handed my homework in to my oh, teacher. No. And, she, and she gave it back to me with a big question mark and said, see me after class. And I went and I was like, you wanted to see me? And she's like, what the fuck did you read? <laughs> Jamie just made them up? Made up the answers. That's uh, incredible. She, she sunned me. And I'll never get that back. I was, out, I was outmaneuvered in that situation. You asked Jamie. Yeah. 
for the answers to the summer reading, and she made up a whole book. Jay, Jay, I don't think it was because uh, I think there was like a cup. There was like a handful of people in the class that I would get the answers from. She was one of them, so it's possible it was her. Also possible it was somebody else. Got it. But that stung, and I, after that, I was like, "What did you say? How did you get out of that?" You were I, like, "I must have read the wrong book." I'm, I honestly don't even remember because I didn't even care. Like I, I hated English class so much, and I had this teacher who sucked, and I just didn't give a fuck. Damn. But I was super upset about it afterward, and I said afterward, I was like, this will never happen again. And I, no, don't, I didn't start actually reading. start reading. Yeah, I just no, I didn't. learned of spark notes. I spent a good amount of time in middle school learning how to forge my parents' signatures. Mm. So I did way worse. Well, I also forged everything in like seventh, sixth or seventh grade. I think seventh grade. I forged everything because if you start forging your parents' signatures in the beginning of the year, you that's get, just their signature. That, yeah, it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't have them sign it once and try And my mom's like a fucking <clears throat> Your mom had really nice handwriting. I remember that shit. Yeah, yeah, her shit is fucking like this. Like, it's incredible. So I'm like, I'm not doing that. Uh, and my dad's is real sharp. And I was like, I'm not fucking doing this shit. So I, I just did whatever. I did something way worse. Way, way, way worse. Enlighten us. <laughs> This is how to forge your parents' signature you're talking about? So, uh, no, I never... I, I'm, I'm sure I tried to forge my parents' signature. My, my mom's, because my dad didn't sign anything. He can't write a script. He can't write a script. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he knows how to write script. I'm sure he knows yeah. his signature. My dad can't write lowercase letters. I know that. He just all uppercase? Everything is uppercase. <clears throat> there's some darkness behind that. There's I, some there's Well, some he's pain. yelling at me there's through the pain. letters. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, you know, uh, when I would get bad test scores, which there was a period of time where, like, from like sixth until like eighth or ninth grade, I, I really, really hated school. So I didn't give a fart. And uh, I would, you know, it would be go home, get this signed by your mom, and do, you know, give me the right answers uh, or signed by someone in your household. And, uh, you know, my grandmother, the dementia had kind of really. Oh my God. You made your dementia grandmother forge a signature, or she was the one signing your stuff? The former or the latter? I would give it to her to sign, and she'd be like, 39? I was like, it's out of 40 points. <laughs> she would sign. And then guess what? The moment I left that room, that dementia kicked in, and she forgot she signed. You're a sick fuck. You know that? You're a sick bastard. You would fail shit and then make your grandmother sign it because she had to mention you sick pup. And, and I would return it, you know? Yeah. And uh, she's patting you on the back. Great job, Frank. Listen, Thanks. listen, listen. Yeah, yeah. You know, it would take, it would be a lesser man to just say she's sick. I, I allowed, I allowed her to feel needed in those times, you know? Used is the right word, Frank. Not needed, buddy. You were using her. That's God, crazy. I you've leveraged her I have, dementia. <laughs> That's insane. You saw you, you, listen, my grandma has listen, dementia. That, I could use this. I could, <laughs> I could, you know what? There's something here. I could use this. A true alpha does not take any opportunity for granted. Right. Yeah, All right. Exactly. That's what happens. The Andrew Tate. Uh, character in me really Frankie Skins was really really pumped in that moment <laughs> <laughs> that's unbelievable story it's all right listen I have really tried hard to repent because if repent if, if, <laughs> if life for me had ended at 21 there was no doubt that I was going to hell yeah God would just been like <laughs> literally what? my hands are tied my hands here. are <laughs> fucking so tied my hands are tied here Frank but double knotted my no, hands are double knotted <laughs> It's that, you know, he, he had dude. his fingers in those Chinese finger traps where every time you pull, it's just like, I'm trying for you, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember I had a, a you know, remember reading logs? Oh my God, I like hated you had to them. read for 30 minutes And there was like night. smileys. It was like, how did you like this? You remember that? Yeah. yeah. And it was like a reading log. So you had to read for 30 minutes and then your parent had to sign it every day. And I had a teacher, Miss Gross. That was her name. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely gross. Uh, but I like my mom signed some, and then I was like, "Fuck, I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't have to sign." So I tried to do it, 
butchered it. <laughs> Remember when I gave it to her? She literally looked at it for half a second. This isn't her. <laughs> like, oh, dude. Oh, dude. I got so the much ways trouble. that I used to get away with shit in elementary school, we used to get homework like math packets for, you know, like a break or something like that, you know, mm-hmm. a Christmas break or whatever. And I would just undo on the back, I would undo the staple and take half of it off and throw it out and restaple it. What would that do? I'd be like, I'd hand it in. They'd be like, where's the rest? And I'd be like, this is what I got. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. You gaslight your teacher. Oh, this is all you gave uh, me. This is what, I, what do you mean? Where's the rest? This is it. Like, I got what I got. And they'd be like, there's like 20 pages missing. And I'd be like, where? I don't, you I didn't get undo the st- I would undo the staple. Cause you know how you can like open a staple. I would just undo it. Just fucking take the pages off and then just fucking restaple it. You know, recrimp the back. That's fire. That was it, babe. That's crazy. It hurt. It the- hurt lying to, to Miss A. It hurt. That was who I did it How to. How dare you lie to that I woman? I did. I hurt. I hurt her and you I hurt bastard. me. That might have messed up my chances. Mm, I think it's the fact that you were a fourth grader <laughs> that might have done it. But <laughs> um, Okay. We do have sponsors. <laughs> God, I'm so glad we're back. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, uh, we have Rocket Money. Rocket Money, all in one personal finance app that's going to put money back in your pocket. How? I'll tell you how. A couple different ways. Uh, They're going to help you budget. You can set a budget so you don't go over it all the time. Uh, They're going to, uh, they have a feature where you can lower your bills. You'll literally upload a picture of your bill and you put it into the app. And if they can negotiate it down or, you know, figure out something that you're overpaying for, uh, then they will lower your bill for you. And also the thing that's the most useful, in my opinion, is they will cancel unwanted subscriptions. So if you sign up for a free trial a couple months ago and you don't remember about it, uh, that you did and you've been paying for this thing or there's some website you're signed up to that you don't want to use anymore or that you haven't used in months. They will identify these things. You could cancel them. So you put in the money back in your pocket. Um, and it's extremely helpful in that way because I feel like we all kind of do that. Uh, it actually says over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. So it's more than likely that you have something, at least one thing that you're paying for every month that you don't even realize you're either not using or that you don't even realize you're paying for it at all. So stop throwing your money away, cancel on one subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash basement. That is rocketmoney.com slash basement. Okay, again, rocketmoney.com slash basement. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website. Uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know a Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gift, side, gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. And lastly here, uh, we have ZocDoc. ZocDoc is great. I, I use it all the time, honestly. Um, you know, when you're younger, your parents just bring you to a doctor and you're like, okay, this is my doctor. But then eventually you grow up and you start having to take yourself to the doctor. And if you're not like appointed one, you're like, I don't know what to do. ZocDoc kind of makes it easy. You go onto their uh, site, you put in the insurance that you have, and then you can look up uh, doctors in your area that take your insurance and their next available appointment. Um, and you can do that for a primary care physician, or you could do it for, you know, something more specific. I don't know the names of doctors, uh, but you, uh, but yeah, it makes it a lot easier to find all these things. And also they have, uh, they're reviewed. So they have like a five-star rating and, you know, from people that have gone to them. So if they have a great rating and they have a, an appointment, uh, soon, whatever, it just connects you to a doctor, um, seamlessly. Uh, but yeah, so go check out ZocDoc. Uh, is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed. Take your insurance 
uh, are available when you need them and treat almost every condition under the sun. Um, but go to ZocDoc.com slash basement and download the ZocDoc app for free. Uh, then find and book a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That is spelled Z O C D O C dot com uh, slash basement. Again, that is Z O C D O C dot com slash basement. Uh, but yeah, makes it easy to go find yourself a doctor. Joey, there's a story that came up that I didn't know if we had the ability, desire, or calm personality to talk about, but the goddamn libs are coming for our hot dogs, Joey. What? The libs are coming for our hot dogs. Reportedly. <laughs> the libs. Oscar Mayer has changed the name of their iconic Wienermobile to now something I'm not upset about, the Frankmobile. Is that lib stuff? I don't think. I don't think they haven't said anything about any like lib pressure. It's a fun joke because who? We got to make fun of everybody, Joey. I know the libs. Then what do we call the conservatives? I thought you were about to say Nazis. I was like, oh well, yeah, sure, whatever you want to call yourselves. I (laughs) (laughs) make it harder for me, please. Sorry, I'm just queuing these things up for you. But like the that giant ass fucking hot dog, the the wiener mobile. I've never seen that. I've never seen it in real life, but I've seen it. Like, I know it's a thing. Fun fact, my wife auditioned to be an Oscar Mayer Wiener person when she was a child. What does that even mean? Soulmates, baby. They, they exist in real life. Wait, how did that, what, what does that mean, though? What would, it, what would, she, what would she do? There were commercials. It's like, oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer oh, Wiener. And she didn't get it. She didn't. Damn. Well, I, I don't hold it against her. The fact that she went out for it, that really... I was in my wedding vows. You have to try. I have. To, you have to try for it. Mm-hmm. But like, you got to. It is this. A lot of people are saying that like, oh, Oscar Mayer's going woke now. <laughs> are wieners woke? Are are wieners like wieners are genderless, baby? Well, uh, wait a sec. I don't know. Yeah. I th- <laughs> wait, are they? I know. I think they, the inclusion and or. Is Not that inclusion why? Wiener? of a wiener. Wiener mobile. Actually, a wiener mobile doesn't really. That sounds like something a '90s teen movie bully would say about like sex. No. Oh. I was gonna say about like the nerdy kid's car. Like, is this a wiener mobile? <laughs> yeah. Was, you know, he's like, what? yeah. He rollerblades up to him and he's like, I just shred the gnar, kiss your mom, and you're going home in his wiener mobile. Yeah. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> Rolls up on rollerblades. I would. Th- oh, it's the '90s, babe. Did they? Did cool kids rollerblade in the '90s, Joey? Yeah. Yes. I don't. Do you not remember the opening to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie in 1995? Guess. <laughs> Guess if I remember that. Where they skydive out of the airplane and land in Angel Grove and then they they rollerblade? No. Yeah, Joey. That's what the cool kids were doing. They were shredding the blades. Shredding the blades. Shredding the gnar on blades. Okay. And this hurts me a little bit. Although I'm not upset. It's now the Frank, Frank Mobile. Frank Mobile's pretty nice. I would like to see this hot dog thing in person. This this fucking vehicle. This I, mobile. I am astonished. Do they sell stuff out of it? I think it's just like a like an advertising thing. Like the Wienermobile's pulling into your town. Go meet it with fucking mu- wide open mouths. <laughs> you know I, what? Now I guess I get I, yeah. I kind of understand. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> with wide open mouths. Uh, I I mean, if they don't sell hot dogs out of it, then I think we should just get rid of this thing altogether. Forget about changing the name. Let's no, change no, the no, 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 no. Don't say that. I'm not looping myself in with that. Oscar Mayer. I'll 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 drive your Wiener Mobile. Uh, Frank Mobile. Uh, Frank. Fr- this is a per- perfect marketing opportunity. Frank for would me. like to ride your Frank mobile. I want to ride your big old Frank. <laughs> <laughs> big old Frank. I just think. Doesn't it have mustard on it? I think the mobile does, but it doesn't mean that it needs to. Let me ask you something. Listen, dogs are, are nature's you know canvas. You could put whatever you want on it. However, you dog, you choose the dogs the way you dog. I mean, there's a couple things you can't put on it. Like. Name me one thing I don't you can't know. put on a dog. Peanut butter. I mean, I mean, I guess you could. I guess you could. I guess you could put anything, right? Yeah, baby. That's, a, that's the beauty of a dog. Oh, you can't put like marinara sauce on it. Marina? You could make a pizza dog. Pizza dog. That was one that we spoke about oh, in, yeah. in our episode that you can check out on Patreon.com. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. Oh, you know what? Weird. I was gonna, what about olive oil? Why not? I guess. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why not? I'm stumped. Olive oil and prosciutto on a dog? Oh, oh shit. Double the pork? Double the salt. Yeah, well, yeah, a lot of salt. Sodium's fucking skyrocketing. Yeah, that, that, that's it's gonna be a, a, It's an experience. I think so, yeah. It's an out-of-body experience because oh. your soul will leave your body. Die. I want a <laughs> slutty-ass dog, dude. It's gonna be a dog doll, a dog weekend, baby. I want to, like, put ch- hot chili on it. Do you, I am shocked that we have not worked out any sort of deal with Nathan's or Oscar Mayer. Yeah, what the fuck? We right. should host the 4th of July dog sucking extravaganza. I agree. Greg, Greg. Greg Greg is going to have to make this happen because or there will be hell to pay. Think about it. like who's the MC? That guy that goes up there in that stupid looking jacket and that big fucking hat? It's not a big hat. It's, it's just a big, like a, it's a big hat. I oh it was, no, it's the short hat. It's the short like, but he's got like a cane. Yeah, and he's like an old timey. He's dressed like, like a cricket. He, he is dressed, <laughs> he's dressed like Jiminy Cricket, dude. When I think of a cricket, I think of the Giz guy dressed that like that. Doesn't make any sense. Or the frog from WB. Yeah, the WB frog. Yeah, exactly. I don't want that. I want it to be us. Yeah, I want to be up there serving and, dogs. And if the if the costume is a big part of it, we'll wear it. Dude, honestly, that's a great idea. We should reach out to Nathan's. Just say, like, listen, we're big dogs. We're the dog guys. We're, we are. When people think of the internet dog people, it's Joey Chestnut, Kobayashi, the basement yard. There we go. That's the, it, <laughs> interchangeable at this point. Yeah, exactly. Who know? Who do you think knows more? Uh, not about dogs. I would say those guys know more. But, like, who is more known right now for being the dog boys? <laughs> I don't even know if that's true. It's probably not, but we like to think and I like believe to it. say stuff too that I don't know if it's true. Well, that's that's America. Yeah, just freedom say of speech just means that you can say whatever you want. Misinformation's fun. <sighs> it's all about dogs. Who cares? What spreading are you gonna fact rumors? check? Fact check dogs, dude. Spreading rumors. How fun is that? How, like, how fun was that in high school of ruining someone's life with a rumor that you started? That's awesome. Yeah, like for instance, when Joey stole my girlfriend. Here we go. It's, you know, I'm just yeah. gonna put, start in put the that back out there. You know, I can make rumors about you too. Say it. What? That I'm a caring, loving person that has supported you from day one and always will. Okay. And I've considered naming my children, renaming my children after you. Renaming? Yes. How do you do that? Maeve will become Joe. <laughs> okay. No, nah, she won't. She's too pretty. No offense. How dare you? No offense. Why You're is not that a f- pretty. You're handsome. Women can be handsome. No. <gasps> Get him. Got me. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. God damn it. Got me. You got me. Yeah. yeah it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about the hot dogs. I'm Have you very... bought yet or no? Uh, no, I'm going to. A, I'm going. You know how much I'm fucking in for dogs? I'm going to a butcher. I'm getting custom dogs. I want fat rippers. <laughs> You're fucking horny for this shit. <laughs> Do you God. fat rippers? Do you know my mom? <laughs> my mom was here. This uh this. What's today? My mom was here yesterday. Yeah. And she goes, uh, are you excited for the weekend? I was like, yeah, we're going to grill. I'm really excited. She's like, ah, yeah, I know how much you really appreciate your first dog of the year. And I was like, yeah, first. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I had one January 8th. I've already had a- <laughs> Joey celebrates his on January 6th. Don't even start, you, you bastard. You said that's a very American day for you. Never, <laughs> no, clarify. Never clarified why. I'm yet to look it up. Should probably get on that. But I'm very excited. Yeah. Don't well, change the name of the Wiener Mobile. Let us drive it. We definitely have to get Nathan's on the fucking horn. Is there another hot dog place? Nathan's, Sabret. Sabret. Oscar Meyer is the hot dog mobile. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I'm an idiot. Listen, this is going to be the great dog bidding war of 2023. Yeah, we're going to reach out to all of these dog fuckers. Nathan's, uh, Sabret, Hebrew, Hebrew National. I want, them, I want all of them fighting over us. Show us your dogs. And we'll... Fu- well... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> show us your dogs and we'll pick the best one. Yeah. In a row. I want to see you all. Show us your best dog. And it's not about the money. It's just about... It's, the money. It's just about the currency in which we receive. In, yeah. <laughs> it's not about the money, but it is about the compensation. But it is about the compensation. That's a good way to put it, Frank. Yeah. So I might not need money. I need money. I will need hot dogs. We, I mean, at the very least, we need a lifetime supply of... Dogs. I need every week a pack of dogs at my house. Don't ask what I'm going to do with them. I would like a guy to show up to my apartment at three o'clock every single day and just show you his dog and ready dog. Yeah, and 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 like buns out. 
buns out. You want buns out, man, sweaty, hot man at your door, buns out, dog With out, chili on it, and you're ready to suck it down. Frankie, I know what you're doing. I'm not an <laughs> idiot, but Jesus Christmas, that's what you asked for, Joey. Can you what's the What's the race of this man? Just uh, I I want to know. The race of what man? The the man with the dog in your door. Could be any man. The man shoving his your, shoving his dog in your door. That's not what I said was going to happen. You want to open up full porno. Be mature style. for once. Are there are there hot dog pornos? What? Tell me, Mister Porn Boy. Why am I Mister Porn Boy? <laughs> Anytime something comes up, you're like, oh yeah, there's a porn for that. That has happened on this show maybe thrice. <laughs> I don't know about that there. I know about that. You've told me you've seen videos of people farting on cakes and fucking that was one time. shoving like zucchinis in them and then fucking that never uh, happened. mother-in-laws and, and stepmoms. Of course that's happened. Yeah. <laughs> mother-in-laws are, and stepmoms. You are porn boy and you know you're porn, porn boy. boy. I also don't know if there's a hot dog porn, but if there's not, that's another opportunity. Greg. Greg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Santa Gata Studios is getting into now, huh? Hot dog porn. Good for you. No, we do have to reach out to a hot dog company and see what's going on. Listen. We should have a hot dog eating contest. No. But not even a contest. No, let's no, just no, enjoy no. Just, it. Let's just put, let's do a hot dog tasting let's contest. Do a, let's do a, oh, I have an idea. What do you have? On Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're very, you're so kidding, like you're very excited. Let's, uh, <laughs> this is insane. Let's do a power hour with pigs in a blanket. And Every minute you gotta eat it. We would probably be die. Pigs in the blanket. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Or maybe we switch on and off. It's so 30 it's pigs thirty pigs in a blanket and thirty and like a beer shots and a of beer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Is, is thirty pigs in a blanket a lot? <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? A pack normally comes with twenty four. So oh, I could run through that. I know, but mm. this is <laughs> that'd be fun. How about every ten minutes we have five? No, that doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even work out. No, that does, yeah. No, that's a lot. That's 10 times 6, 6 times 5, 30. The exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. So how about we do this? We start off with the dogs, mm. right? We have... We will throw up. Yeah. Just want to make that clear. We have a hot... We have a pig in a blanket mm-hmm. for the first 10 minutes. That's 10. For the next half hour, we do the beer. Then the last 20, 20 minutes... minutes we do something else. No, I want beer all the time. Then we do it for the rest of I the time. I say we do the first 40 minutes beer and then the last 20. 20 dogs. Pigs in a blanket? I can fucking rule that. That's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for that shit. All right. All right, so sign up for the Patreon, patreon.com slash the yard because we are going to do this hot dog challenge, the hot dog and beer challenge that we have created right now, and we're trying to get a, spo- we're gonna, we're trying to get a sponsor for it, but that ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, but we're, gonna, we're just going to say it, put it out in the universe, because you never Uni. know. Uni. That's me talking to the universe. Uni? Uni. This is his oh, name. Yes, we go on a first name basis. That's cute. Nickname. Where can they find you? F. Alvarez8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez, and all other forms of social media. And then make sure you go check out that Patreon, like Joey said. And then you can find Joey uh, at his handle, Joe Sanagato. You can find the Basement Yard at all the, on all forms of social media. Or you can find Joey at his new social media handle, which is January 6th was a great day. At all, on all, go check it out. Joey's news handle. Don't say anything. Cut, the, cut it. Cut it right here, Josh. Cut it right here. See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>